Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be talking about how to fix the WordPress white screen of death. This white screen of death is one of those things where you have a blank page and you have no idea where it's coming from. This could lock you out of your WordPress admin panel, but it can also have part of your website working correctly while one page or multiple pages are not working. For an example, as you're trying to log into your WordPress admin profile or your dashboard, you may see this white screen of death while everything else is working correctly. Also, you might find that certain blog posts do not work while the rest of your website does work. Like many other WordPress issues, this is one of those things that can be very frustrating because you do not get an error message or something to let you know where the error is. It's recommended that before you start making any edits or changes to your WordPress web server or website that you have a proper backup. Some of the most common reasons why you see the white screen of death is mainly because you may have exhausted the memory limit of your WordPress website. A common source for this error could be a plugin, a theme, or your web hosting server is not working properly. So we just need to troubleshoot each one step by step. If you have recently updated a WordPress theme or added a plugin, this would be the best area to start your troubleshooting. One time-saving tip is if you are hosting multiple websites with a web hosting provider, make sure that all of your websites are working in the event that it is a server issue to save your time. So first off, because exhausting your memory limit is a common occurrence for the white screen of death, let's go ahead and increase our PHP memory in WordPress. Simply go to your php.ini file and increase your memory limit. Simply open up your php.ini file and look at your memory that you have there. If it's something small, say 64, go ahead and double it to 128, save it, and restart. See if you still have the error. Now, if you do not have a php.ini file, it's very simple to create. Simply go to your notepad or a text editor and create a php.ini file and add this simple code to it. Simply update this to, through your FTP to your web server and see if that solved your exhausted memory issue. If memory was not an issue, then simply let's go in and we will start looking at the plugins. Now again, if you have recently updated a plugin, then this might be the best place to start first. Now we can go plugin by plugin, but to keep this simple, simply go to your plugins folder and rename it. Now go back to your website and see if your website's working correctly. If it is, then you know it is a plugin issue and simply activate each one, checking to see if your website is having the issue. As soon as you find the plugin with the issue, your website will no longer work. Then you know that plugin is causing the conflict. If you have recently updated or installed a WordPress theme on your website server and then you receive this blank white screen, then you know that is a good chance that this theme is causing the issue. Simply go in and rename the theme and Refresh your website to see if your website's now working. If you have multiple themes and you do not know which theme it is, then simply rename each theme except for your default one being your current year. So example, do not rename or edit 2017 if you're in 2017, such as if you are 2018 and so on. Now refresh your website to see if the theme was causing the issue. If it is, simply go in Simply go theme by theme and activating each one and then refreshing your website to see which one is causing your white screen error. As a second to last resort, you could simply reinstall WordPress altogether to see if there is a file that is corrupted or causing the conflict. And lastly, if all else fails, simply contact your web hosting provider to see if they can help you with your troubleshooting needs. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.